Hey everyone, my name is Beloved and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be opening up and reviewing the Almond Cow. So for all of y'all who have not heard of it, just like I had it a couple of months ago, the Almond Cow is supposed to be a way for you to make your own milk out of essentially just grains, oatmeal, rice milk, damn, soy, whatever you name it, honestly, this thing can milk it. A friend actually got this for my husband and I for a wedding gift and I am super excited to see how you actually use this because we are millennials and apparently millennials just don't drink cow's milk anymore. So I am super, super excited to go ahead and give this thing a whirl and see how you can actually use it. What honestly got me interested about this is just that when I was single, I, right now I just drink coconut milk and I've been drinking it for years now. But I would probably only have to buy coconut milk probably like once every two weeks. But now being married, my husband and I go through a gallon or half a gallon in like two days. And I'm just like, okay, unless we're gonna buy like 10 of these every week, something's gotta give. So this came right on it. I mean, it's already cute. Okay, so it comes with, but it's a little cleany thingy. I'm not sure for what yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. And lastly, oh, that's cool. It's an almond cow glass jug. So just off the bat, the box is super cute. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good packaging. So let's see. This. Hopefully you can see the whole This is super cute. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. Okay, and there it is instructions. Yay! I hate instructions. I don't know why, but I will look at it and just go, okay, okay, I got it. And my husband's just like, why don't you just, why don't you just read it? And I'm just like, why? Why do I have to? Okay. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just gonna take all of these fun things out. Protect the thingies. <laughs> that's how you know that's how you know this is made for millennials they put it in a linen in a linen bag like where am i gonna just take my almond cow to this is going on a vacation oh wait let me grab my almond cow <laughs> i don't know but it's cute and i'm gonna keep it honestly i might mess up and wear this y'all might see this on a spring summer fashion video and if you're wondering where i got it from on the cow so okay i'm pulling this out this took a while to ship and i'm actually really impressed at the fact that this is all perfectly put together still like there's nothing wrong with it so Okay. I adjusted the camera because I really wanted you to see the actual almond cow. So far, what I really like about it, you'll notice that it's wet because I had to take a quick break to wash all these because I decided right now I'm gonna try it. What I really like about this so far is that it's really compact. It's like, I'm not a big fan of like appliances. So I love that this just is small. It doesn't take up a lot of place, space, excuse me. And it's cute, so I don't mind looking at it. So, okay. So step one, um, I put together little filters. So it came with just, check it out. Came with just this mixing thing, which I attached to the filters. I didn't read the instructions, by the way. I just followed the arrows, because I'm just that good. But putting it down, and the filter basket. Okay, that's the filter basket. And then they said this is the base, and then I've got the collector cup. I don't know where the collector cup is supposed to to actually go does it just go in here uh -huh, it does so i don't drink coffee and i feel like this is what a coffee machine kind of does and i don't know if you got an espresso machine and this is how it works let me know because i feel like a filter and a collector cup that's very coffee terminology and <laughs> again don't drink coffee don't know how to make it either so, okay, without further ado, let's get to the point. How do I open this? Okay. 
open. So I take this out first. And my counter's clean, so all you guys staring at it like, she just washed it and put it on the counter. It's clean, it's disinfected, I promise. Okay. So it says, fill the base with water to the minimum or max line or in between. For anyone thinking about buying this or anyone who runs through milk a lot and you just are thinking that, okay, maybe I need something else. This is perfect for it because you literally just make your own. And what I also like about it is what I was looking at online, the excess of like the oatmeal and the things that you use, you actually will be able to keep the pulp from it. So you'll keep the oat pulp or the rice pulp or whatever, and you could use that too, so you're not actually wasting anything. So okay. So that was step one. Step two is add. Add the dry ingredients into the filter basket up into the max slash one cup line. Do not overfill. So I take this out first. Okay, so take it out again. Hmm. And it, it looks like I'm struggling. It's because I am. <laughs> it's because I am. Add dry ingredients to the filter basket up to the max slash one cup line. Oh, the max line is the one cup line. So this is just one minute oats. I don't like the steel cuddle to the five minute ones. I don't think people say they taste exactly the same. I don't agree. I think they're kind of nasty. So I just filled it up to the one cup, the max line, just tightening it back, putting it back in the collector cup, stacking the lid back. So far easy. Okay, twist, twist. Four place. Place the top of the almond cow into the base, did that. Attach the power cord, did that. No, I didn't, I did that. <laughs> Doing that again. Okay. Press the cow button. Press, sorry. Press the cow button, a white flashing light indicates that the milking is in progress. When the blue light is solid, your milk is ready. Okay. <laughs> so while that's going, these are the little cute instructions it came with. They have pictures, which is always a plus. Thank you, Almond Cow. Your girl likes pictures. It comes with this little book that shows you literally how to use it, which is just a book version seemingly of this. And there's a little white flashing light. This is the sound it makes. Probably the lowest sounding light blender that I've ever heard. It says when the little blue light is on, that means almond cow is done. We're gonna see what this actually made. I'm really excited. Okay. Step six is enjoy. Remove the top of the almond cow with the filter basket attached. Let me just pull it off. You take this off first. That's why <laughs> you don't take the lid off. Okay. So I did it wrong. All this did was pulverize it. So I thought I followed the instructions right, but I clearly did not because when I pulled out the filter and the top. There's just water in there. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take a quick reset and see what I did wrong. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay, so I realized what I did wrong. So I did, I redid everything again. I went back and I actually read the instructions. It was the collector cup. I wasn't supposed to leave this in there, but I did. If you do that, all it will do is grind your oatmeal into powder. So don't do that. So I went ahead and redid it with the correct instructions and I'm pulling it out again. So it just went through the same process. I pressed the button, waited until it turned blue. That took about maybe two minutes at that. Pulled it out and man, that's more like it. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over so you can see. Now I understand the purpose of this. <laughs> It's for that. And this it would this is what it looks like. It's actually oat milk. And that is pretty awesome. Last but not least, all I did was pour the oat milk from in here into in here, which is just to finalize that last step. So I would say that it is super easy to use this almond cow once you actually follow the instructions. The only thing is just that I wish that it actually had the ounces on here. Just because when you're pouring the water in, it doesn't give you an exact ounce amount. So how much water you should put in. It just says fill it to the minimum or the maximum line. And I filled it to the maximum line. So if you do it that way, fill it to the maximum line. 
and use a cup of oats or a cup of whatever green you use, this is how much milk you get. But anyway, um, I would say that this is a very easy appliance to use. I for sure 10 out of 10 recommend it. If you guys have any questions or concerns or you want to see me try to make any other um, grains with this, so that's really, you could use any grain in here. So if you want me to try to make, I don't know, some seed milk, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. God bless and until next time.